Well, hi. Uh, where are we, Brad? Jacobson Park. Jacobson Park in Lexington, Kentucky. I'm on this uh, specially built platform for this experiment. Got the Kronos high-speed camera. We're going to film at about 6,000 frames a second. Going to try to get this to hover somewhere within the frame. That's going to be the hard part. Then I'm going to have Brad do a quick maneuver to hopefully show you how it turns, how a drone will turn by slowing down the propellers opposite from each other. That's what we're going to do. Hopefully that's the plan before the sun goes down. Are we ready? We are ready. All right, let's get going. This thing is a little hinky. You can see. We're ready to do some science. So what I have to do is start the loop. So it's recording on a loop. It's fighting the wind a little bit. All right. I think I got it. I think I did. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so hopefully what I'm about to show you is how your drone will turn left and right, or yaw. Here in this diagram, you can see that the red rotors are rotating counterclockwise and the green ones rotating clockwise. With both sets of rotors rotating in opposite directions, the total angular momentum is zero, keeping that sucker in the air. Without getting too sciencey on you, an object's momentum is its mass times its velocity. Angular momentum deals with spinning objects. So if you want to turn your drone to the right, or yaw right, two of these propellers will slow down, as you can see here. The other two spin up to keep the angular momentum such that it doesn't fall out of the sky. You'll see here, as soon as you stop the right yaw and turn left, then the opposite propellers will slow down and the other ones will spin up to accommodate. When you push your control stick forward, then these propellers will slow down just a little bit. Momentarily, these will speed up and it will start going like that. But then, angular momentum, it needs to stay airborne. So then these speed up and it, it all is, it's crazy how it works. It's, it's almost magic. Hello and welcome to the first in the Drone Death series. I am the Drone Reaper. <laughs> the drone death series will be a series of videos where I destroy toy drones one by one in increasingly insidious ways. Today we're going to fly the victim. This is the Holy Stone HS700 Ophelia. We're going to fly this directly at speed into a wall. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Any advice before we begin? Don't try this at home. He's a professional. You can tell because I'm wearing the professional hat. That's right. All right, so the reason why I'm using this drone in particular is because I hate it. Drones are supposed to be fun. And in order to have fun with this drone, you have to calibrate the compass every time you fly it. You see in the instructions all the things you have to do? You have to pair it. You have to initialize it. Then calibrate the gyro. Then calibrate the, the compass when you should be having fun. So we're gonna smash it so nobody else has to have this much fun with this drone ever again. Thank you for donating your body to science. You ready? Do it. Did some fly off it? Oh, the camera. Yeah. Well, uh, that's just a camera. I think the props are fine. <laughs> no, one of the props is not fine, but I can fix it. Here, there we go, repaired. Wanna do it again? Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think it'll fly correctly. Well, I'll be damned. It lives. Wow. Try number two, you ready? Yes, sir. Well, 
it bounced off of it pretty well twice it, it's a sturdy drone it is sturdy uh, it doesn't work anymore but nothing really broke on it i mean even these flippity floppity legs are still intact i'm sure if i could replace the blades that it might fly again so what we have to do is ensure that it won't fly again and to do that we're going to use explosives kaboom don't try this at home kids and so we say good day to you little drone never more to fly Yeah, yeah! I think I did it! Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. Boo and bye. Cops are coming. Let's go. Well, that's it. And we're going to say goodbye here on the Kentucky River next to the John Craig II Ferry. I want to let everybody know I appreciate you watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out today. No problem. It's fun. And uh, I hope you had a very good time watching the video. <sighs> <sighs> and they don't charge a lot to go across. In fact, it's very inexpensive. <laughs> they don't clean it either. I saw some ferry dust on it. I can go all day, shall I? Yeah, please. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>